Hey, Vesanta here. So Digimon rewrites this drop about like two nights ago and I decided to make this reroll guide to help you out. So the process starts off with you going to do your tutorial and then you get to this part where it kind of tutorial first adventure summon temple. So you get here and then you roll it and then if you get any good one, the ones you want to look for are the rainbow orbs. If you get any of those good ones, then you can kind of go through it and then go through the step ones. Um, depending on how well you roll on this first temple, you may or may not want to keep continuing. So you go through the first two steps and then see if you get a rainbow. If not, you should reroll. I will go through that process later. So um, after you do the five acts, you download the 200 megabytes patch. You do the you give it fruits for the carrying. You train up and it will force you into this tutorial temple to get some new friends so um there are three there are like three rankings on there's based on the color of orbs there's the blue one which is usually the rookie level and then there's the gold one with the champion and then there's the rainbow one the blue one and the orange one can turn into uh, rainbows on the summon so um, why don't we just go ahead and summon and then we can go over which digimon you want to look out for so we're gonna do a temple. Usually I play the XO Temple song because that song I usually play for summon. It's like don't mess up my temple. All right, let's go. We're gonna see if we get any orange ones here or even rainbows. Oh, we got a definite rainbow. So usually by this point it could turn into a gold or a rainbow. So the rainbow ones are the ones that turn to go. The rainbow ones are the ones that can turn into mega evolutions. Um, the blue and the gold one, they're just stuck maximum of ultimate. So the ones you want are the mega one because that's the final form. So let's hopefully we can change some of these into a rainbow. Okay. Then I could probably show you guys how that looks like on the screen. Usually it'll tell you if it's a rare and if it's a rainbow, it's probably super rare. Um, there is a tier list. I can talk to you guys how, which one to look out for um, after the summon. No, probably just, I'm just gonna re-roll it no matter what I'm getting. Cause usually after this, it will force you to do uh, one of the quests to get 50, 50 gems and then use that 50 gem for the setup summon. And then we can go over that setup summon later. But that one allows you to get more Greymon. That's the one that you want. That's one of the top units uh, units right now. All right, here we go. Um, last one before the rainbow, no? Oh, Andromon. This is one. This is one of the ones that you look out for. It's very good for PvP. In the beginning, it's kind of slow because it's more defensive Digimon. But once you get to like PvP, that sixty percent defense buff is super good. All right. So um, you can for this pull, I would kind of keep it and do probably the next one or two setup summons to see if I want to keep it. If I get another rainbow, if I don't, then I'll reroll. But just for the sake of the tutorial, I'm going to reroll anyway. So we go to, for Android, you will go to your more apps, Android settings, applications. Then you scroll down to Digimon rewrites. You click on that, click on storage, clear data. That'll instantly get you back to the beginning. I close this just in case. You reopen the game. It'll take you back to the beginning, ask you for which language and all that shiznaz. So, but for iOS, you're going to have to reinstall the app. So. One of the things I suggest you do, since it actually does work on emulator, I would just go download BlueStacks here, um, log in Google Play, get the game, finish this out, and then once you're done with this, you can actually transfer it using ID slash password. Use these like right here, and then um, you would do this within your account, so it doesn't actually has data. It doesn't say this recovery. It just so account transfer to password, right? Um, but then, and then you issue a password and then you can take that password, username and password, and you plug it in here and then you go to this to type it in and you get your new account on your, um, actual iOS device. But let's go back to my actual account here and then we can show you how to check for which one to look out for here. So you get, so this app Andromon, right? And then you can click on here, click on the Digimon, if you, there's a tier list. So usually they list the mega level or the ultimate level. So if you don't know, I don't know pre-evolutions by heart, so you can go here and check which one's the mega. So you can check here, there's the four, it allows it to go up to the mega. 
you kind of see that here but if you go to like a different one like this is one of the blue ones you only go up to ultimate so you don't even see that mega form on there so the one that you you do want is man Minerva Mon, so just bear Frigimon, look out for if it's rainbow, it could evolve into Minerva Mon. That's the, one of the ones that I want. It's pretty good for AoE, pretty much in PvP and PvE. And then War Greymon is a setup one that you want. Um, they, do, they are giving out a promotional Vmon, which evolves into this. It's pretty good against. The clash battle bosses, which is like the raid bosses, it does quite a bit of single target damage, and you know there's only one boss sitting there, a single unit enemy. So let's go up to the setup. Let's go to the setup summon, and we can kind of check out that. So that's where you want to go afterwards. After you get like your 50 gems and whatnot, you go to summon. Lone screen does take a while, And then this is the setup summon. So um, if you look at here, setup one, it costs 50 and it has 3x summons and then go all the way to 200, which is a guaranteed War Greymon. War Greymon is super good right now for the boss and PvP. It might get power creep later, but for now, it's probably the best unit in the game for like at least six months or so. So you can you can click on the summon rates. You can kind of see the rates here. Um, step one is lower. And then as you get higher and higher, it gets higher. As you get higher in the step, then that rate gets higher for Omega. So this is the one you want to look out for that can digivolve into Omega. And that's pretty much it. So hopefully that this reroll guy will help you. Um, you do want to get those top three metas. If you don't get it, I would suggest you reroll. And or if you have a favorite Digimon, you can probably stick with it. And we have some notable ones, which is like Sakumon, Ravemon, Boltmon, Ebomon, Venom, Mitosmon, Puppetmon. I think I'm not sure if I mentioned that earlier, but Thanks for tuning in, and I have I do stream almost every day, so check out my Twitch down below, and there's my Discord and my Twitter, and if you have any questions, you can post in the comment, you can make sure to follow and like this, subscribe pretty much to follow us for Twitch, but you can follow that too, and um, I'll post more videos about other games, maybe, Pokemon Sword and Shield, I use stream Regalia, Pokemon Masters from time to time, so probably until they fix that. But with that, thanks for tuning in and later.